In this case, the appellant, Ryan, aged 20, had been reading a book in which the main character committed an armed robbery to raise money in order to participate in a lottery. The character won the lottery, paid back the money, and used the rest to look after his parents. The story affected Mr. Ryan. He had an old rifle. He shortened the barrel on the stock. He carved the name of the character on the rifle. He then went to the service station where Mr. Taylor was working. Mr. Ryan pulled out the rifle, which was loaded, cocked, and had the safety catch off. This means everything was ready to fire the weapon. All he needed to do was pull the trigger. His finger was on the trigger as he pointed it at Mr. Taylor. He made Mr. Taylor kneel so that he could be tied up. As Ryan moved forward to tie him, Mr. Taylor spun around quickly. Ryan jumped back in fright, and without intending to, his finger depressed the trigger. The bullet killed Mr. Taylor instantly. The question raised before the High Court was whether his action had been voluntary, or whether the jury should have considered that his action in pulling the trigger was involuntary, something like a reflex action or a startlement. That might potentially have been the case if all you look at is the pulling of the trigger, but the court found that the conduct which was voluntary involved more than just pulling the trigger. Justices Taylor and Owen said, The fact is that the wounding and death were caused by a combination of acts done in pursuance of the design to commit the robbery. They included the loading and cocking of the rifle, the failure to apply the safety catch, the presentation of the rifle at Taylor with the finger of the applicant on the trigger in circumstances in which an attempt at resistance might well have been expected. No suggestion was or could be made that these acts were involuntary. They were done deliberately and were as much a part of the act causing death as was the pressure of the trigger which fired the rifle. From this case, we learn that if a person voluntarily creates a dangerous situation, a single involuntary element somewhere in the matrix of facts may not be enough to remove criminal liability. Mm -hmm.